Here I have a 3 mole whose scale is not normalized. As you can see, this scale vector that should be 1, 1, 1 doesn't have that value. So to normalize the scale, first you need to be in the object mode. Then select the object, press Ctrl A and then apply the scale. That way now the scale is normalized. The rest of the video I'm going to explain what this is for and what problems could arise if we don't do this. So I'm going to press Ctrl C to go back to the previous scale. And the first thing to say is that when an object has a non-normalized scale, it means that the 3 mode has experienced some transformation while being in the object mode. Here for example, I'm going to modify the scale in the X axis by selecting the model, press S, then the X axis, and as you can see, when I move the cursor, the scale of the model is being modified. So what could be the problems with this? For example, if we are creating objects based on precise measurements, not having the scale normalized could lead us to make certain mistakes. Check this. If I go into edit mode and show the length of the edges, at first glance all the edges look the same length, but Blender is showing us that this edge is 2 meters long, this one is 4, and this one is 7 meters long. That is because we are not seeing the object as it really is, but we are seeing it after experiencing some transformations in different axes. If I wanted to see the real shape of the object, I need to set the scale 1, 1, 1, and this would be the object in real size. Notice that now it makes sense. This edge is 2 meters long, this one is 4, and this other one 7. Another problem that could arise by not having a normalized scale is related to UV mapping. When we want, for example, to distribute some textures on this model. You can check this video in the corner if you want to see that process in detail. But for now, here for example, I'm going to check this model, select all the faces, and I'm going to make a smart UV project. Here we have the result of the UV mapping. And as you can see, the shape of the faces doesn't match with the object we are seeing on the 3D viewport. For example, this face in the viewport. It isn't similar with what we are seeing here, a rectangular face in the UV map. So these things could happen and would affect the way the textures are distributed in the 3D mode. To avoid this problem, just apply the scale. Press Ctrl A, apply the scale. And now, if we do the UV mapping again, as you can see, all the faces are exactly the same. Square faces, all the same size as they should be, and the edges are also now all the same length. That's all for this video. I hope you found it useful and see you in the next one. Cheers.